Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to the Flow Weaver Overview. Another first day, another release. It's great that we have like this routine going on every week of just having something new on the store. There's a very rare situation that nothing releases on first days, which I think it happened only like a few times in the whole year pretty much. There's always something to do. <laughs> Looking at the trailer, Flow Weaver seems to be an adventure escape room type of game. By solving mysteries in the dimensions and completing the puzzles, with each world that you're traveling to, it's supposed to be connected somehow to very mechanics. It says it's primarily a sitting experience with a narrator in the background telling you about the storyline and stuff like that. I'm not like a huge escape room fan at all. I don't even think that I've played any. It's something that really doesn't appeal to me even though it's like treated as an adventure thing you know. I kinda like to be free and just like move around and stuff like that. Not to be like trapped in one room to solve puzzles to escape. It's not my style at all. I'm gonna be real and looking at the trailer it doesn't seem very interesting. Like I don't know if they screw up like the dynamic in this footage that they're showing like it just doesn't seem exciting to play for some reason and maybe it's strictly for me because this is not my type of game but it just seems to click on various things in your environment move around things and activate some puzzles but i don't see anything complicated i think one of the best games in that specific genre is i expect you to die which i've never played as well but it seems to have just made a name for itself and it seems like you don't really have a locomotion anything at all to move around you're basically just in one place just grabbing maybe things from the distance. I don't know, with those things it's kind of like the storyline and the narration plays a big part in it so maybe that's gonna completely turn around the gameplay but already at the trailer stage is meh. Let's see what this is about. Alright, so options per usual. We're doing subtitles. Oh, that's interesting, you can adjust like where do you want them. <laughs> The first time I have it. Controls. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, basically it's a sting experience. So no moving here. New game. Press AX to open your planar compass. There are so many dimensions of magic in this multiverse. All huh? interconnected with the worlds of mortals. My schooling is almost over. I've learned to channel the magic of many of those dimensions into spells. Ugh, but I should practice for my final tests. Pick a destination, grab the thread of reality, and pull open the new dimension. Grip button, the middle orb, and pull the threads of reality to travel to a new dimension. I mean, okay, that's the tutorial? <laughs> huh? Wait, wh what's happening? Where am I? What happened? I'm <laughs> like on a stool. Oh, no! <laughs> Is anyone there? Help! Okay, Jesus Christ, shut the Please, fuck up. I shouldn't be here. God damn. My planar compass. It's empty. Whatever this place is, I've been completely cut off from most of the dimensions I know. From the magic I've mastered. <sighs> At least I'm still connected to my own dreamscape. Pull the dream thought overhead to listen. Okay, so, I've been captured, trapped somehow while moving between dimensions, caught in that circle of binding at my feet. And whatever this world is, it's somehow completely disconnected from the dimensions of magic I'm used to. <sighs> Which means I can't simply pull open a new dimension to escape, and I can't access the spells I know either. I'm near powerless. No, not powerless. I still know how to move between dimensions. If I can find portal keys, if I can learn more about the dimensions that surround this world, access them, <sighs> go back to first principles and figure out how to harness their magic. Then maybe escape the cell. Not that it's much of a cell. It looks more like a storage room. Is it weird that I find the narrator completely annoying? <laughs> well, at least the dreamscape remains a fixed point in my plane of compass. That proves at least some of the magics here function as expected. The dreamscape is a borderlands between mortal forms Oh my god, and magic this is very annoying. Cognition of every sapient mind touches a piece of it. Thanks, Professor Mylan. I guess your stuffy old lectures did come in handy after all. Recent topical and unprotected thoughts will gather above the dreamscape in my compass as I puzzle my way through this predicament. 
but that I dare not physically travel to the dreamscape itself, and I best not let too much rise to the surface either. Girl, can I fucking skip this? private and secret live within. And you never know who is watching or listening, young one. Oh my god, so cringe. You know if you're putting someone for a sitting experience primarily, I would assume graphics should be like high-end, because we are literally not moving. We're watching the same scenery pretty much over and over. So as much as things are looking fine here, they should be like better than average because of the system that they chose the gameplay and so. I hope I don't need to listen to her. Hold B to meditate and detect magic. Okay. By opening my mind oh my to the energies around me. Wow, so many objects in this room hum with power. And I sense a couple things that uh, that I could maybe harness as portal keys. Something on that skeleton's hand and a glass trinket in the rafters. Uh, if I could reach them somehow, I should be able to access other dimensions with them. How to reach them? Clearly I'm not the only person who's been brought here. Hopefully I can fare better than you did, friend. Oh, there is some energy still held in this skull. Come. Find me in the shadow realm. Wait, okay. Thank you, friend. What the hell is this? Mm, the shadow realm sounds distinctly like the name of another dimension. Perhaps a place of secrets, or this world's land of the dead? If so, I can use this finger bone as a portal key. I just need to merge it into my planar compass. Feed this portal key to your planar compass to access a new dimension. Aha! The energies in that bone were tied to a dimension that connects to this world. I should be able to travel there now. So do I just pull it or something? Okay. And we open the portal to... Another flow weaver. Oh. Sure Skeleton and dragon. Was a prisoner of the necromancer and her peers. Flow Weaver? Necromancer? <laughs> what are you talking about? This distant world has a unique relationship with the dimensions of magic. They call them flows here, for the way they move like the tides through their worlds. The magical tapestry is not stable. Those of us who travel between the dimensions with ease, we are rare to them. Special. They name us Flow Weavers. Mm. The cell, the runes of binding, these are the work of a necromancer. That shadow I saw before I came here. I do not know her purpose. I'm sorry to say that I learned little more before I died here. This dimension is dangerous. A dragon of bone and shadow haunts these blades. You must not linger long lest it kill you as it did me. Even the flow itself can wrest your soul from you. I can help you further, but please, please. I am bound to this place still, cursed. But there is an amulet in the cell, a gift from my master. It can release me. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that, but it's out of reach. There's still time. I can teach you the magic of this flow to harness the shadow and extend your reach. First, you must release the darkness from the crate beside you. How can I release it? Open the crate. The flows of this world are uniquely connected, layered over the material world. Do something there, and it will change things here. Fascinating. I assume I have to focus my magic, yeah. Tico, Tico, just open. I don't know, I guess I have to come back to my realm with this bone? I should be able to take objects from here with me back to the material world if I need to. Yes, let's go back here then, open the portal. Whoa, it's, it's night time. Huh. Time must pass a little differently in the uh, flows of this world than in the world itself. Night time. Okay, so here's your bone. I don't know how to give you though. Hmm, maybe I can get that chest propped open somehow. Maybe like that. Did... did that really do something? Oh, I felt... 
almost like a shiver through the fabric of reality. I don't know. I guess let's go back. Oh, I don't want to listen to her. No. Oh, it opened. Good, good. This darkness is part of the curse binding me. The necromancers attempt to wrest information from me, even in death. But you can learn from it as I have. Now, pull the threads of magic into yourself. Harness the power of the shadow. Bend it to your will. Into your body. Shadow hand. Open your planner compass and select a spell. Pull the shadow hand spell to yourself to equip it. Use front trigger to prime the shadow hand spell. So, <laughs> a cursor, dude. <sighs> so amulet gonna be here. With that for this in front trigger, use grip button. <laughs> oh, it's just like another spell I once knew, but well, darker. Go back. Oh, my amulet. Thank you. Thank you. I may rest now. Beware the dragon. I did not think my wounds fatal, Hulbas. Wait, please! Is there anything else you can tell me? I learned a little more, but I did make contact with the fairies. Concocted a special brew. Make them this offering and they may help you. What offering? Devised in the dark of the cell. Fond of drink. Oh, damn. Rest now, friend. Okay, we're gonna stop here. I'm very 50-50 on it. As much as uh, this narrator was so annoying in the beginning, if I can skip her boring monologues here and just focus on the gameplay, the game is okay, I guess. For an escape room type of game, it's kinda simplistic. Like, I always would assume this genre is like hard in general to find puzzles and just clues what <sighs> to do. There is a chill here. A chill that goes deeper than skin and bone. I should not tarry. Okay, don't interrupt me. <laughs> I'm split because I don't know if I should do a playthrough on this game or just leave it at that because it seems easy enough to do the whole playthrough and I think it was like 2-3 hours from what the people were saying from the beta version. This time I feel like it's your decision. Like write me in the comments or whatever if I should actually complete it. Other than that, the beginning I feel like was rough but I'm starting to kind of be interested more what's happening and stuff like that. Graphically, could be better. It's not the worst. I didn't encounter any bugs so far as well. So for an escape room, it seems solid enough to play for fans of things like that. I don't know. I'm leaving the decision up to y'all.